Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'll be taste testing a new ramen. It is the Shin Ramyun noodle soup. I'll show you all the details about this ramen. So, let's go! So, here it is, the original Shin Ramyun. Shin Ramyun noodle soup. And over on this side, it is gourmet spicy. Then down here, this ramen is halal certified, so it is okay for consumption for Muslims. Turning over the packet, you can see the cooking directions. I will follow these instructions exactly, but also with a bit of my own way. You'll see later on. Let's open this and see what treasures awaits us. There you go, we have a flakes sachet followed by a soupe sachet and a ramen cake. So the noodles are made from these ingredients, wheat flour, cereal containing gluten, vegetable oil, potato starch, modified potato starch, salt, acidity regulator E501, E500, vegetable flavor sauce, malt syrup, onion, garlic, color E101I, what? Green tea extract. So the flakes consist of vegetables, which are dehydrated Chinese cabbage, dehydrated mushrooms, textured soy protein, soybean products, dehydrated carrot, dehydrated green onion, dehydrated red pepper. The soup base is made from these ingredients, which are salt, flavor enhancer E621, E635, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, soybean product, spices, chili powder, sugar, soybean paste powder, soybean salt, wheat flour, soybean product, yeast extract, vegetable oil, mushroom, corn flour, chili extract, malt syrup, maltodextrin, color E150A, acidity regulator E501, E330. It's time to cook these, so let's get to the kitchen. So I have 550 ml of water. Let's add. Let's bring this to a boil and then we'll add our noodles. Now on this side, these are the additional toppings I'm going to add. I have some spring onions, I have some capsicum, then I have some butter and an egg. Now for this pot, let's start just low heat. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. To the butter, I'm going to add a little bit of chili with sesame oil. Don't let your butter burn. I have added the veggies to it. Just low heat and let that cook. Okay, let's focus on the noodles. Water has come to a boil and now we have to put in the soup base and the vegetable flakes, which I have right here. Don't forget the stragglers and let that cook for <coughs> four to five minutes. See you in four to five minutes. Not 45 minutes, four to five minutes. Setting the timer for five minutes. Oops. There you go, five minutes. Start. Now I'm gonna add the egg. Now I've added the egg, the heat is low. Let this cook and then we're gonna just add the noodles. Make sure you stir so you break up the noodles and they don't stick together and they all cook evenly. And it smells spicy, it smells good. Turn off the heat. I'm gonna add the noodles here because I want to mix it thoroughly before... There's a stopwatch! It's done! Let's check on our noodles. Oh, the noodles look good. Okay, I'm going to add the noodles to that. By the heme. No need to drain because we're just using all the soup that was there. Now, the residual heat from the pot is just going to cook it a bit further and make it glossy. I hope it does that. Let me transfer this in a bowl and let's eat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm -mm. This is great. The soup itself is very flavorful and spicy, but the spiciness has been toned down by the butter. It is salty, even though I didn't add any extra salt to it. So glad I didn't. Now the noodles have a bite to them. They are springy and chewy. In this case, it's a good thing because it's swimming in soup and it would have gone mushy and soggy. So the noodle cake is tightly packed. 
in such a way as to not overcook them. Now the hydrated vegetable flakes, the egg and the spring onions and bell peppers that I added, now those provide really good textures which are needed to liven up the chewy noodles and it has the spice level is a bearable mouth sting. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.